Good morning. Hi, everyone. If I could just ask everyone to begin to take your seats, we're going to get started here in a couple minutes. Thank you. Good morning. I'm Kirsten Villers and I chair the Great Lakes Academy Board of Directors. I'm so thrilled to be standing here today, welcoming you at this pivotal moment in our GLA journey. Today, we break ground on a project that reflects the steadfast vision of our founder and executive director, Katherine Myers Crum, who eight years ago imagined Great Lakes Academy as a school that would be the very best in educational opportunity. As many of you recall, our founding board walked the streets of this neighborhood, talking with parents about the possibility of a new school and collecting signatures in support of our plan. Our charter was granted and a whirlwind renovation of our current school building finished in time for GLA to open its doors in August of 2014 with just four kindergarten and first grade classrooms and 100 families. Today, we stand before you as a school that will welcome 500 scholars, including our founding class of eighth graders, back into the building this coming fall. Since the inception of GLA, our board, staff, scholars, and families have worked tirelessly to achieve our mission which is to empower our scholars with the education today they will need to change the world tomorrow. I'm so very proud to have arrived at this day together as a community. I'd like to welcome Alderman Mitchell, our architect, Wheeler Kearns, our contractor, Bully and Andrews, and all our GLA staff in attendance today. Architect Frank Lloyd Wright once said, the present is the ever moving shadow that divides yesterday from tomorrow. In that lies hope. Yesterday and for every day of the last seven years, our staff, families, board and supporters have worked together to build Great Lakes Academy into the center of educational excellence that it is today. Tomorrow we will embark on a project to create a full campus that reflects the beauty, excellence, and boundless potential that we see in our scholars each and every day. And today we stand here together in this moment of hope and shared purpose with much to be proud of and much work still to do. Thank you for being here with us. Please help me welcome our capital campaign chair and member of the board, Faye Teller. Thank you so much, Kirsten. I am incredibly excited to be here today to mark such a huge milestone for Great Lakes and to launch the public phase of our Building Beacons campaign. We've arrived at today with tremendous support from our local and broader Great Lakes communities, and I'm hoping some of my friends and families are watching from afar this morning. I'm thrilled to share with you that we are over 80% of the way to our $3 million campaign goal. It has taken a village to get to this point. 
I'm so grateful to everyone who has contributed so far. And I hope that those of you who are here today and who are watching online will join us. I joined the Great Lakes Board several years ago after meeting Catherine Myers Crum. As many of you know, Catherine's enthusiasm for this school and its students is infectious. And I joined this community because I share in Catherine's high ambitions for our students. The Building Beacons campaign is the culmination of years of planning to create a space that best serves our scholars and our communities. We want to provide not only the best education, but a facility, the facility that our scholars deserve to help them soar. Today, we have the opportunity to build on the greatness that is already taking place in our community, to join together, to inspire, and to establish something that will be so much more than a single building. The Building Beacons campaign is about the potential of our scholars. It's about their futures, but also ours, because one day soon, it will be in their hands. So thank you all for your unbelievable support. As we hear next from our architect, I hope you will think about how you can be involved in creating, building, and inspiring our next generation, our future, through the Building Beacons campaign. And now, I'd like to introduce Larry Kearns from Wheeler Kearns Architects, who will share with us the vision for our future Great Lakes campus. For over 36 years, I have been imagining things for a living, things that don't yet exist. It's a good gig. Almost eight years ago, I received an email from someone who was doing her own imagining. Catherine introduced herself and the vision for Great Lakes Academy. The clarity of the vision struck me, along with its ambition to create a special place in South Shore for children and their families, I was all in. Like any successful startup, Great Lakes had a roadmap with a starting point and a final destination, but lots of blank space in between. Today, I'm happy to report that after initially taking off in a different direction and navigating our share of detours, we have arrived. When children and their families come here, they will enter through this courtyard surrounded by three buildings each separated in time by a generation. In the oldest building, built over 110 years ago, children will learn in the campus's most innovative spaces, including a maker lab outfitted with tools unthinkable a century ago. On the opposite side, a former church built for the community over six decades ago, will be reborn with a parallel purpose. Surrounded by playgrounds woven into the landscape and a new turf field to the south, the building will have a regulation basketball and volleyball court and spaces for assemblies, performances, and daily meals. After hours, Great Lakes will welcome the community inside and outside. The newest building in the courtyard will link the other two, conceptually connecting mind and body, completing a campus equipped to serve the whole child. Along with my colleagues, Emily and Fabi, landscape architects Kettle Camp and Kettle Camp, and our contracting partners, Bully and Andrews, I'm grateful to Great Lakes Academy for letting us imagine along with them. Now I would like to introduce uh, seventh ward alderman, Greg Mitchell. Well, uh, good morning. I think we're bordering afternoon, but I'll stick to good morning. 
Um, for those of you who have not been to this, this side of town, welcome to the 7th Ward. Not only am I the alderman of the 7th Ward, but this is where I grew up and I've been here, about to tell my age, I've been here 50 years. And the only time I left was to go to college and I came back. Um, Benjamin Franklin said, if you plan, if you, if you fail to plan, plan to fail. And I think that's the, one of the sentiments that drives Catherine, uh, Catherine Myers on a daily basis. Uh, from the first day we met, she made it very clear what her vision was, what her plans would be, and that she would be relentless and very courageous and steadfast in obtaining those goals. And she has been nothing short of that, as you has witnessed by today. Um, as aldermen, we work really hard to make sure that our constituents, the children of our constituents, and the, are, are, have a quality life in the community. And I take that to heart. So I mentioned to Catherine earlier that something like this is, uh, is, is like a double whammy. She's improving on the on 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 an already quality education that that, you, that these children are getting from Great Lakes, but now she's taking a vacant property and adding value back to the community. That is what helps us as aldermen do our job, which, by the way, is second hardest job to you teachers. I must say that. <laughs> um, Catherine, I I applaud your leadership. I I know this is just absolutely the beginning, because like I said. You are relentless in your vision. So I'm sure we're going to have many more conversations. You're going to tell me about many more actions you plan to take. And you keep doing what you're doing. You keep, you keep providing a safe space for these children. You keep lighting up my community and bringing value to it like that. And you and I, you will have my support until you don't want it anymore. So for all, for all the Great Lakes family, um, and, and I, I, I thank you guys too. Um, once again, this is a hard job being alderman. And when I have partners like this, a partner like this, it makes the job that much easier and it makes my effort and my commitment a little bit more heartfelt. So won't get too much to and won't, and won't, won't speak too much because I don't like to be long-winded. This is not my, this is this is Great Lakes. But thank you for your once again, thank you for your leadership. Thank you for turning something that's vacant into something that's going to be an asset to the community. And once again, thank you all to the Great Lakes family for being a part of my community. Thank you. Thank you so much for those words, Alderman Michael. So happy you could join us today. And now I'd like to introduce uh, GLA parent and board member, Cheryl Howard Neal. Good morning. My name is Cheryl Howard Neal, and I am a proud GLA parent and board member. Five years ago, when my husband and I started to look for a school for our then first grader, we had some non-negotiable criteria. The school had to challenge our son academically, but also see him as an individual. It had to help parents or help prepare him for the rigors of a competitive high school environment. And the school would need to share our belief that a quality education with great teachers is a fundamental right. One additional criteria we had was that the school be located on the south side of Chicago. As born and bred Southsiders, my husband and I made the choice to remain here and raise our son here. Did we look at and consider other schools outside of the south side? Absolutely. But in the end, we questioned why would we have to travel miles away from our community to find a quality school. However, we all know that while potential and talent are widespread on the South Side, sadly, opportunity is not. And then we found GLA. Great Lakes Academy inspires, recognizes, and celebrates the greatness of new students. They encourage scholars to be their best, both academically and socially, and to embrace their potential. GLA also recognizes that all students are not the same and that they work to meet students where they are by understanding their unique skills and needs. Great Lakes Academy also values parents and guardians actively, and they actively seek input and in working together to build consensus and community. GLA students are amazing, and their futures are incredibly bright, 
and they are only limited by what their heads and hearts can dream up. And now they'll have a school building that almost matches their greatness. Congratulations, and thank you to the GLA staff and board for investing in our students and making this a destination school right here on the South Side. And now it's my pleasure to, to introduce Catherine Myers Crum, Executive Director and Founder. Good morning. My name is Katherine Myers Crum, and I'm the founder and executive director of Great Lakes Academy. A school is not its roof and walls. It is not its buildings. It is not its desks or its jungle gyms. A school is an ethos. It is its families, its staff, its scholars. It is a community. Here at Great Lakes Academy, we seek to cultivate an environment where our scholars' growth is our focus and the driver of every decision we make as a community. We chose the mascot of a lighthouse, shining a light for others to follow, because that is our goal for our scholars, that they would be beacons who shine light on their own paths and live their lives empowered by their education to be leaders for themselves and their communities. Being a community beacon is also our ethos as a school. We are so excited to finally have a campus that will be a representation of that philosophy. Our new campus will be a physical beacon and a physical reflection of our holistic commitment to growing every child's unlimited potential. It says, you matter, your future matters, and we are investing in you and your unlimited potential right here, right now. Our facilities must match the trust and commitment that our scholars, our families, and our staff have placed in our school. And for too long, our city hasn't invested in all schools equitably and has not supported all children's potential equitably. We know this. You only need to drive across the city north to south to see the differences. And too often, We've been asked to settle for less than when it comes to our schools on the South Side. But all of our children deserve a resource rich environment that grows their full unlimited potential, not just through academics, but also through the wonders of art, music, innovation, athletics, and play. The campus we are breaking ground on today is taking a small step towards breaking down the inequity our community has endured we are building together a world-class facility to house our school for our community that we hope will light the path for many scholars for many years to come. Because schools are resources for their scholars and they are also resources for their entire community. They are beacons. And if our school, Great Lakes Academy is a beacon, it is because together we shine a light on the beauty and the greatness that already exists in our scholars and our community. This campus we're breaking ground on today allows us to invest even more fully in our children so that they can become the greatest possible beacons in their own lives, blazing their own paths, setting their own course, charting their own destinies, reaching their unlimited potentials. Our school, our campus, our beacon is what happens when we all come together as a community, all of us here today at home and physically here to invest in all of our children's future. And together we are building beacons. Thank you so much for joining us today. And now I'm thrilled to share with you the full vision of Great Lakes Academy's new campus. We want to ensure that every scholar who walks through our doors meets their unlimited potential. And we do everything we can to cultivate, nurture, and educate them so that they can light their own paths as beacons in their own lives and beacons for their community.
every kid wants that one class that they can truly be passionate about and see their future in. And that's what I found here at Great Lakes Academy. When I grow up, I want to be an actor and a um, chef. When I get older, I want to be an entrepreneur and own a business selling computers. When I grow up, I'm thinking about being a nurse. Whatever thing I do in my future, honestly, I want it to be of some sort of help to the community. We provide an environment and really push ourselves to be fiercely positive and to cultivate that same fierce positivity in our scholars. We're thoughtful, we're intentional, we're also always looking for the joy in learning. They really push for the children to be excellent, not just academically, but also with their personalities and their standards and morals. We opened seven years ago with a mission in four classrooms. And it became abundantly clear that even with our strong academics and, and exceptional teaching, it's time our facilities rise to the same level of excellence as our scholars and staff. It takes more than a classroom to educate a whole child. They needed an outdoor playscape. They needed a gym to have recess, they needed spaces in order to do performances and to practice their own leadership voices. They needed an open and natural environment to enjoy running around and playing with their friends. They needed a true library space um, and a maker space to think as innovators and creators. We are transforming a city block made up of buildings that have been vacant for years into a robust, well-rounded educational facility for our scholars and for our community. Our communities on the South Side, they deserve a quality school. They deserve quality opportunities and the ability to build social capital. I want my child to have more than I had when I was a kid. Anything new and, and, and inventive and whatnot, I want him to experience all that he can in life. Children believe what they see every day. And if what they see every day is a deep investment in their futures, then that is what they can actualize. I feel like this is groundbreaking and I'm part of something groundbreaking. There is hope and dedication that is trying to be brought here for our future and our future being our children. I used to think it was a joke, but you really can be whatever you want to be when you grow up. And Great Lakes Academy really taught me that. When you invest in our Building Beacons campaign, you are investing in all of our futures. This campaign is equity in action. All right, we are now going to do our countdown. Um, so everybody, grab a shovel, grab a hat, um, and we're gonna count down together. I'm loud, I don't need this mic. Here we go. I just want to follow this up by um, an announcement that we are now in the public phase of the Building Beacons Capital Campaign. We set out, um, as Faye mentioned, with a capital goal to raise $3 million. And we have, as of today, raised $2.6 million. And I know with all of your support, we can absolutely get to our $3 million goal and beyond. 
So please take a moment to take a look at those boxes on your screen. If you'd like to get more involved, if you'd like some more information, we would love to connect with you um, about continuing to get involved with us um, and the school. Um, of course, we are accepting donations as well. Um, so thank you again for celebrating this, this really amazing occasion with us here today. I want to thank the Great Lakes Academy Board. I want to thank 7th Ward Alderman Greg Mitchell. I want to thank the Building Beacons Capital Strategy Campaign, Capital Campaign Strategy Committee. I want to thank the Great Lakes Academy staff, our scholars, our families, Wheeler Kearns Architects, Bully and Andrews. Um, together, we are all building beacons. Thank you all. <laughs>